Hi friends! Today we'll do box for Brovens Catcher. Link to the first part is under the video. I decided to give this device to the school laboratory as a gift. As housing for electronics, I used box for acoustic system. It already has holes for the speaker and output terminals. At the inner side of the hole for the speaker sets the fan. It was taken out from power supply of the computer and works with 20 volts. At the outside was fixed the grid. I found the plastic cap, which size is exactly equal to the hole for the connector. On the cap I set the power button and the blue LED indicator. To supply the fan used power supply without transformer. It consists of the ballast capacitor and the diode rectifier. The output current depends on the capacity. It is approximately 70 mA per 1 microfarad. The diode rectifier can be collected from any low power diodes with a reverse voltage of at least 400 volts. The current is not important. Notice to the important point. Once the device is plugged in, the fan starts rotating. But the coil will work only if the network switch is on. This is to ensure that the fan can cool the throttle after circuit is turned off. The same principle is implemented in the soldering station, when the fan continues to cool the heater after switch off device. A resistor in parallel with capacitor is for its discharge after disconnecting from the network. Must be used film capacitor with a voltage of at least 250 volts, preferably 400 volts. The LED is powered by the same circuit. The circuit is assembled on a compact board. Frankly, it's taken out from a Chinese flashlight. During the work it was not heating at all. Therefore, glue to the wall of the housing with hot melt glue. The field effect transistor is mounted on the radiator and connected to the board through wires. Choke and radiator are glued to the box by a very strong adhesive. The aluminium primary winding of Kasher is joined with the copper wires through brass mounting terminals. All design is completely suitable for repair. Only choke location not quite good. If needs to replace the fan, it is necessary to remove the choke, but it glued. Hopefully, the fan will work a long time. On the front panel also the variable resistor is placed. The coil and primary winding is also glued to the box. To prevent the electrical breakdown, the hot end of the high voltage wires has additional insulation. It is tube of gel pens. I fixed plastic circle on top, to which is attached the screw. Hot end of high voldage wire soldered to this screw. Generally, it is better to use a copper cone instead of the screw, because arc is formed on the sharp edges. But the screw thread is also sharp and arc can occur on it too. At the bottom of the housing I made few ventilation holes for air suction and attached three legs. Here is the finished appearance of the device. Let's check the operation after assembly. In the following videos we will carry out several experiments with this device. All necessary links are under video. Thanks for watching. If you like it, don't forget share with friends. With you was Akakasyan.